Hello everyone, my name is Hong Wan. I'm a postdoc working here uh, on the carbon capture project. Uh, today I'm going to use this camera to show you around how I do my daily work of making capsules. And this is a setup here. Today we're going to be making these micro capsules. As you can see, they're really tiny. And uh, the way that we make them is we're going to have a polymer shell wrapping up the reactive chemicals inside. And these reactive chemicals is the one that helps to absorb CO2 from the atmosphere or factory waste gases. So everybody is aware of climate change and global warming. And now people are asking the questions, where are our solutions, right? In my opinion, this could be part of the solutions. And this will greatly help to reduce the impact that we got from the climate change and have a better future. After loading these syringes with liquids, they were left on the syringe pump. And then the liquids will be pumped all the way to this microfluidy device. Right now we're making double emulsion drops at a really high speed. And that's why we need to use this high speed camera to help the observation of the whole generation here. So what you see here is a slow down playback. As you can see, we're making these drops and they're very mono dispersed. So if I put it into real time, this is what you will be looking at. We're making hundreds and thousands drops per second. And now, after the drops get generated, they run into this uh, inline curing, which will have a UV light to cure the polymer in the shell face. So eventually you get capsules coming out of the tubing, which will then be collected and be used for the CO2 capture. There you have it, the CO2 capturing capsules. I know in the, in the GoPro video, I may sound like really easy, but before I get it to work, it's like a half an hour thing, they need to tune things up and all of these things. Once I get it to work, especially for something that's really challenging, I really just have a tiny dance. My former lab was in the basement, and we have the whole lab to ourselves, and there was really nobody there, so I can dance a little bigger, you know. And then here, like, people are watching, so I just do, yeah, small dance.